And we're going to roll. Yeah. In 10, mm-hmm. 9, 8, 7, wow. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this episode of A Word with Mercer Podcast. It's your girl, Be Stories. It's A Tati. And it's, it's MJM Kid. Is. Woo-woo. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this episode is brought to you by feelings. Oh, good. Because we all have them. Mm-hmm. Let's break some ice. Okay. What is the most expensive thing you've ever bought? That wasn't mm. because I know easy for me that would have to be, that would be like a trip or a vacation or something. So mm. that wasn't like that. That oh. didn't involve a trip, like a physical item. Mm-hmm. It probably is something that we using right now. Yeah, I was about to, I <laughs> was about to say. Yeah, I was about to say equipment. Um, equipment is always expensive. Yeah, I That's don't mine. contributed to equipment, but like. Hmm. An item, you know, probably something from my mother because my mother has very expensive tastes. So I mm-hmm. always kind of feel like I have to like get her something designer. Mm. Oh wow. Um, f- I mean, truly, for like her birthday or like Mother's Day or Christmas and stuff like that. So it's probably something for her. Honestly, I'm a pretty simple girl. Same. Yeah, myself. Same. Same, same, same over here. We're all the simple ones. Not same. We're all the same. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like certain things. Like, when I find a thing and I genuinely like mm-hmm. it, then it's like, oh, okay. Like, I'll probably splurge on that because I actually like it. But, like, mm-hmm. I'm not like, oh, I need it to be Prada. I need it to be. Like, yeah. my mama is kind of like that type of girl. She's a material girl. Material yeah, girl. she is. I she deserves like so whatever. The most expensive thing would have to be like money that I that actually like came out of my palms yeah, and I got. But that's been like dinner. my car. Oh, <laughs> no. I said dinner. <laughs> How much? No, that would have to be like my car. Like probably the money that I put that's down getting my car. <laughs> and then after that, I don't really spend like hello. I'm yeah. very like money conscious. I'd be afraid. Yeah. So I spend a lot of money on stuff. So it would probably have to be like. The pl- like a PlayStation 5. I forgot about that. Oh, I oh, bought, go ahead. Yeah, I got my guy a PS5. That is expensive. And that was Love probably that like you. an expensive. Yeah. Like but yeah, I forgot I did not have a car once. One time. I did at one point have a car and I did pay for it. So, yeah, yeah probably a car. Yeah. Would you? I mean, it's equipment. Cameras. Oh, yeah. Cameras, cameras and, and things. things. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Mics got it. that we're using. Yeah. Yeah. Soundboards. All yeah, soundboards. I bought some expensive um, stuff. For that old relationship, I did. Can't yeah. remember exactly what, but it was. Yeah, it was a thing. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, love that. Wow, back down memory lane. Lane, lane, um, lane, lane. McGee, would you like to kick us off in the check in? Yeah, <gasps> guys, let me take that back <laughs> really fuck? quick. Tell us. I'm so sorry. Please. Oh no, that is related to a trip. Never oh, mind. I'm about to say it? fucking Disney World. Oh, <laughs> oh <yeah. laughs> it's the trip, most expensive yeah. thing I've ever bought. And I still want to do that. So. Like, I can't wait. That was I really want to go on the Disney cruise. <laughs> yeah, I think we should probably. Really the Disney Dream that. Cruise. Do they have a drink package? Look, they a drink don't. package? They I must. They do. A drink? They must. I know that. Um, I watched the TikTok and the. I mean, they're a drink package i don't know actually yeah but like i know that they serve, they serve alcohol. drinks yes of yeah course. Mm. it's not that kind of cruise no it's not like just kids just it's not like slapped that slapped on disney no i want to be drunk as drunk fuck with tiana and like it's my bitch <laughs> yeah <laughs> me and princess tiana just a lizard yeah um so physically i was sweaty but i'm not anymore hmm. maybe because i changed my shirt <laughs> okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Yes, that's your yeah, shirt. I like it, Picasso. It's because of your shirt. Yeah, I like it, Picasso. Yeah. She wants you to know why. I know. I said it's because she's like, please shirt. acknowledge that I'm okay, only saying like this it, because of your shirt. Yeah, okay, I like it, Picasso. <laughs> um, emotionally joy. Um, yeah, period. my attention is on. Um, summer not ending. It's gonna We're end. getting close. But closer. it's gonna end. And we want to get back in the cold. Yeah. And then spiritually. I don't know. I feel like they. I like the cold a little bit because it gives us a reason to be a sloth. I've been a sloth, but then it's like you get judged because it's nice out. 
Yeah. But when it's cold out and I say I don't want to go somewhere, nobody's not, nobody's like, ah, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I, get I it. love this time of year, actually. The whole thing, like the summer that's then going into spring and then going into winter, like I love everything that's up until Christmas. Mm. Like I don't mind any of those seasons that are changing. I like that wearing time. layers it's, and clothes. That's it's about it. everything that happens after New Year. <laughs> Everything that happens after New Year drags. It's my birthday. Yeah, it's it feels bad. the worst. The Except coldest. for Valentine's Day and Bree's birthday. Bree's birthday. birthday. That's, that's fun. Oh, wow. But everything else about after New Year. Like, when we're going to go Year's back over, to Savannah. It's like, it's like mm-hmm. a long stretch of trying to get to summer. Yeah. It yeah. just feels like, please. Come on, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm done now. <laughs> we're going, going back. Back to Savannah, Vanna. That was a great day. time. Especially, I feel like I'm just taking one step at a time. I okay. thought you said ticking, and I was like, like a time. I almost said like a bomb. Bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay. F- f- physically. <laughs> Y'all have not seen me like actually drunk on this podcast. I can't really even tell. It. That's the thing. Yeah, but I can feel I can it tell. and I can hear it. Oh, I can. Yeah. It's not like I, it's not like I can tell like you're acting like so you're drunk. Loose. Yeah, it's yeah. like I can just tell like there's a difference. Yeah, I'm drunk. Um, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So physically, I'm drunk. <laughs> Emotionally, I'm drunk, and I feel <laughs> emotionally drunk. Whoa, drunk in love like that. I'm not drunk in love. <laughs> Why would she not do that for us? <laughs> Why would she do that for I want to hear it. I can't believe she didn't perform that. She did it in the first show. Oh. She did? And Thick and uh, All Up, all up, up in, your in Your Mind. And I'll never forgive this. You I would forgive ne- it. Like, whatever no, visual, whatever, like, Netflix, HBO, whatever thing that we get, yeah. better include Thick and All Up in Your Fucking Mind. She might do it in Houston and, like, New Orleans or something. In New Orleans or something. And I'm... <laughs> Might be there. Uh-oh. No. I'm I don't secrets out. Look, secrets so out. Secrets <laughs> out. <laughs> well, they won't know how. Right. But anywho, um, physically drunk, emotionally drunk, uh, joy. My attention is currently on. I'm re- I really am thinking about the cold months. I'm mm-hmm. thinking about fall. I'm thinking about October. Mm-hmm. Um, my best friend got me tickets to see Wu Tang and Nine. I did. I for did. my birthday, and it's gonna be in October. Mm-hmm. Um, hope hopefully neither of them are watching this because I haven't chosen yet who I'm gonna bring. I'm considering mm-hmm. bringing my brother mm-hmm. because yeah. his birthday is that weekend. Okay, and I don't think that he like no like he doesn't know I have the tickets. I think it'll just be a cute surprise. Mm-hmm. I think so, so I too. think that'll be fun. And, mm-hmm. and me and him like that like we bond on like that. Mm-hmm. Or who else? Or my man. Okay. He yeah. knows about them already, right? I think I might have mentioned. Uh, oh, because mm-hmm. the day that, like, it came to my email, like, I was in the bed with him, I think. Oh, and I was mm-hmm. like, <gasps> oh, what the fuck? I was like, Tati got me tickets to see Wu-Tang. And originally, I thought that it was two tickets for right. me and uh-huh. you. So I don't think I brought it up to him, like, she got me two tickets. I thought, I was just like, oh, my God. Because when that ca- concert came out, when they went on sale, mm-hmm. it was around my guy's birthday. Mm-hmm. So I had his mom buy tickets for him. Got it. And then I was like, oh, I was like, this is a great birthday gift for yeah, Bree. Right. I was like, so I'm going to get it for her, get them, buy them for her. Yeah, so I might um, I might surprise my brother with that. I think that would be really cute. That would be great. Um, but also, I just love October. I keep talking about yeah. this. I love October and Halloween. I do, too. I'm also like really October's into really Lego. Excellent. Love it. I was about to say leggings. I was like, me, too. <laughs> Leggings. I love a good pair of leggings. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Not me too. And I don't. No, I'm really into Lego, and I want to do some like um, some classic like childhood, like Harry Potter. What like, was, what was the one you were doing at your house that one time? You had a Lego set. Oh, yeah, so that's for your dad. Yeah, the one I did for my dad was the Reebok. Right. Yeah. And fun. then I'm I'm working on the botanical tree right now. Mm-hmm. I so I have that, that one, is. and then I want to do like a like a um either like a Harry Potter, the Harry Potter Hogwarts. Mm-hmm. They have that, or the Hocus Pocus. There's a Hocus Pocus one. I don't know what it is. I don't know yeah. if it's the book. I can't tell remember. Me what it is. First. I can't remember. Mm. But like, I want to do something <laughs> like that for October. So I'm like thinking about October a lot. 
because I love Halloween. Can we have a hocus pocus party? Yes, I love a hocus pocus party. I'll uh, put a spell on you. you. Yes. Now that's some karaoke. I can. Now if they could play that. <laughs> if, if they could play and that, if don't I will definitely get up there. Get yeah. Superstitious. Yeah, exactly. I'm still I'm not a huge Hocus Pocus fan, but I'll be involved. That's oh, really cool. Right? Everybody hates that. Everybody me. hates that about me. I, I don't <laughs> hate it. And they're so, like, dramatic <laughs> and yeah. extra. What, what don't like, you like about I it? I just didn't see it as a kid. I just never, I, it well, you never have popped to, on. You like, have how to do, do you it not now? love I Winifred. saw it as an adult, and I was just like, oh, this is cool. But all of y'all saw it as children, and y'all loved it. Obsessed. So it's just like, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. With Salem. Yeah. And I, I, I even liked the second one, even though I feel like I only liked it because it was. Oh, I didn't watch yeah, that. Because of the, the first the one. I didn't but watch like, it. it's nothing you like watch. the first yeah, one. Well, you gotta, it is nothing like that. No. Let's watch it's it. It's actually. So, Kinda. actually, I don't know if y'all would be down for this, but they actually have, like, if you go to Salem right mm -hmm. now in Massachusetts, it's like all, it's like themed, like. Totally it's very, done. like, hocus pocus. Like, I would really love to do that. Even though my thing, tolerance for, like, actually, like, I like spooky things, but not scary. And see, this is what I was about to say, ask, like, about Salem. Is it, I am down for hocus pocus. Yeah. No. I am not down for. Terror. Like, actual. Or no, or, like, witch. no, actual. Wit yeah, yeah, like, I don't want to, like, walk I think it's a little of both, but I do. Yeah. Uh, so, the, what I saw. I don't want to see I saw, people were getting burned at the stake. No. It has to be. Same. It has to be, yeah, like, be Disney-related. Yeah, like, no, I so want here's hocus the thing. Pocus. I, think, I think that there's a way to tailor the trip to that uh -huh. because I saw a TikTok and. I do think, so Salem, I think, has always been kind of like a historical right. place, and it's because of the witch trials, but I do think that Hocus Pocus created, like, this, like, mm -hmm. like kid-friendly, like, fun way of looking at it. So I, I know that they have things that are more geared towards that, which is what I would yeah, be Yeah, that's for, what I would I don't want, for. I don't, I don't want to do learn about the witches the that were burned. Stuff. Like, I'm okay with learning things. about them in certain settings, but I don't need to, they like, want you to see, see the videos. like, and this is the house of the, like, I don't need none yeah, of that. This is but the I, house But I do kind of feel like we should, maybe not this October because <laughs> it's a little close, but I do think that we should do that one year as a group. Because I do, it's certain stuff that I want to do that I'm, uh, I'm I'm trying to release my fear of as a black woman like I just don't think that I'm safe as a black woman as a black person in a lot of places in America but it's a lot of places that I want to explore like I want to do a lot of stuff yeah. but I just be like I'll be watching a lot of TikToks and the TikToks that I'll be wa watching are like a white man and it's just like well you can go wherever you want to go yeah you can but, mm. so yeah but that's one of the things that I do want to do but anywho that's um, physical emotional my attention physical. is on falling Halloween physical emotional my attention is on Fallen Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> That's such a good song. Spiritually. We like everything is a good song. Um, spiritually. That's one of my toxic traits. I'm feeling witchy right now. I feel like if I did this enough, I can make things come out of my fingertips. Yeah. That's fun. Physically, <laughs> physically, I'm now getting hungry. Yeah. Ooh. I'm going out to eat. Emotionally, I am... I've actually maybe it's because because I got a little a drunk, but like emotionally now, like I feel happy. <laughs> no, maybe <laughs> that's how I alcohol looks are born. <laughs> like <laughs> being like I've noticed that when I drink, yeah, you're like I'm happy. This feels good. <laughs> like Let's I keep to do this, keep this all the time. You so guys, before work, I have to have a bottle. <laughs> so I look, I've been there, done that. Look, I've been there, done that. I know someone who did. I won't say any um, names. <laughs> And I felt great. <laughs> and no, I and he thrived. You did that. a good job. Did a great job at work. Children, they'll fire me. And yeah, lock no, you away. would literally be fired. Yeah, you'd be done for. Um, not yeah, you'll be done for. My attention is on. Honestly, exactly. Um, I don't know what my attention <laughs> not is. On. Honestly, exactly. <laughs> I figured out how my to get certain stuff out of it by twisting it. Oh, they must now, that's out. like an alcohol. <laughs> yeah. No. Like, oh, I figured out how to get the liquor out of this dirt. <laughs> <laughs> to get the dirt out. I get the dirt um, out. I did figure that out, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, so did you drink the whole yeah, I didn't even I drink out of the filter. <laughs> I'm going to get another one right after we're done here. So. No, we don't my need Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm doing it. What is my attention on, guys? Um, I would yeah. like, here's the thing. I would like my attention to be on fitness. I would like my attention fitness to be Fitness whole pizza in my mouth. <laughs> fitness. Y'all be seeing that dude on TikTok that. that puts his Popeye's biscuits in his mouth like, 
I one love of the him. Whole he time. be like, "Thank you, Lord." Yeah, yeah I, love, I love him. It like I cringe every time the biscuit he, goes in. He does two bites of every. Have you ever do, not biscuits? You, no, I'm saying <laughs> no. Do you have you only seen like the Popeye stuff, like the biscuits? No, I've seen other ones. A burger, two bites, stops. He'll take one bite. And then he'll put the whole rest of You know what's absurd? It's insane. I don't like that. I'm I starting to it. feel like he definitely, <laughs> like, it. does it on purpose yeah. for, like, the shock value because, like, I don't know if he does. Because I've I think seen that's just him, how he eats. I've seen him eat smaller things in multiple bites. But then things really? that seem like not multiple as in, like, he just eating it forever. Every time he eats but tacos, more than, it'd be, like, one bite. But, like, thing. I've seen That's him terrible. eat, like, chicken that. sandwiches or, like, breakfast sandwiches really? that are, like, a normal size that he'll, he'll eat. I think in, his like, name is Dre. For rights. Yeah, Shout out something to Dre. like that. But then, like, I something that's, like, humongous or something kind of, it's, like, good. one, two, and it's gone. And it's, I like, love, you know, I, you like I, that I, do, I also watch, like, eating but, videos, but I love his videos. He's yeah. so, but yes. Especially when he prays before us. Thank you, Lord. No, yeah, I really like him. I enjoy. I literally just found him. So good. I, I just, I just found him maybe I'm like, show you. like I'm a week show you. or He's two in ago. Dallas, I and my co- and my uncle is in Dallas. So every time he be like talking about like local places, mm. I be taking notes. And I'm he be makes out there. food look really good. <laughs> yes, he does. And yeah. I and I trust him. I believe yeah, him. I enjoy him. When he says stuff is like fire, I, I be like, I'm gonna go fitness. Fitness, whole yes. piece in my mouth. Right, that's right. how we got that's to that. <laughs> yeah, I am <laughs> trying to put my attention on losing this twenty pounds. It's driving mm-hmm. me insane. And oh, that's two twenties, two twenties and a forty. Two twenties and a forty. I just talked to somebody today who said that they wanted to lose twenty pounds, and uh-huh. then you said you wanted to lose twenty mm-hmm. pounds. And if I were going to lose any weight, forty would be my goal. Mm, wow. Yeah. I think the best thing to do is, like, have a trip plan so you can get ready for that. Yeah, that'll give you, that like, That does it to gusto. me every time. Yeah. And I, got tri- and I got trips planned. It doesn't help me, but. It d- it'll it helps help me. me. It does help me, but it doesn't, like. It Keep don't be it like, once the trip yeah. is over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not sustainable. <laughs> it's not sustainable. Uh, yeah, but, it's like. It's sustainable. Okay, keep going. Yeah. And spiritually, I it's feel. I don't know. Okay. Exactly. We don't know how we spell spiritually. I like don't how that us. looks. This is like Powerpuff Girls, like with these like numbers and stuff. It's cute. The time. <laughs> well, so what's the sitch? Um, <laughs> Impossible. I sing that oh, too. You now they could do karaoke. That was just about theme songs. Come, oh, we that'd could. be fun. I would. Ain't we love can host that, that ourselves. Call me, yeah. meet me if, if you, you want to reach me. When you want to page me, it's okay. Whenever you need me, baby. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter where. I'll be here for you till the very end. Danger or trouble, I'm there on the double. You know that you always can call Kim Possible. Yeah. So watch the sitch. Call no. Call me, beat me, if, if you, you want to reach me. me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, those are jams. Those <laughs> are songs that you could. For those. You I should be a yes. DJ. And I used to love watching the videos of yeah. them singing, like, singing in the studio. Yes, studio? in the studio. Yeah, Chrissy so Carlson and Romano. It's yeah. Like, oh, no, Christina Milian, sorry. Christina Milian did the, um, the song. The, yes. Yeah. The song. Yeah. Um, love I it. love. That as well. I was going <laughs> to say something else. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you are producing this episode of Away With Worst, the podcast. Let's say that loosely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, it is loosely. this episode of Away With Worst, the podcast will be loosely produced by a top yeah. team. Because I totally had a thing that I wanted us to talk about. Yeah. But I also I totally didn't have this, like, fleshed out. And we were just like, well, we're going to do it. Uh-huh. So... I just think it would be fun for us to talk about what our toxic traits are. I think that's cute. You know, we'll do our best. Yeah. Um, the thing that I'm thinking of is a toxic trait that is no longer a toxic trait of mine. So when okay. I was, my toxic trait used to be feverishly searching for the good in other people. Mm-hmm. Like God mm-hmm. would be like, "Here's a terrible person," and I would be like, "I can tell you something good about them," and then I would take that good thing and make that mean that they deserve to be my friend mm. or lover. Um, so I think, but also that's not really a toxic trait. That's more like, yeah, that's like, that's, that, I feel like that's like one of those like cop out toxic trait. Like my toxic trait is I see the good in everyone, even though they don't deserve it. <laughs> so I mean, like, but it can be a toxic <laughs> trait if that trait allowed you to keep toxic people in your life. 
Yeah, or but it's but it doesn't or... really but it doesn't really like pour it doesn't really shine light on a thing that I do that is actually toxic. You know what I'm saying? So my think it's actual trait. toxic trait. <laughs> look, let's think. Yeah, let's think. My for real. toxic trait. I think my toxic trait is that um, it would it takes me. I would say it would, because I don't think I really struggle with this as much nowadays. But it would take me a really long time to communicate that I am bothered or not having a good time. And Mm -hmm. by the time I really tap into it, I'm already, like, not being a nice person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm, I'm so frustrated or resentful or whatever that I, now I'm being mean and now I'm creating a um, uncomfortable environment when mm-hmm. it could have been solved by me just saying a thing weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, I think. Damn, weeks ago. Hundred percent. Months, years. <laughs> Months, yeah. years. Yeah, decades. I think that that is very similar to what one of my toxic traits are mm. is because previously, granted, I haven't really had a lot of. Um, like conflict mm-hmm. to like test the theory. I w- I don't think I'm this way anymore. But my yeah. toxic trait in previous previous relationships with people is that I don't say anything when things are bothering me. Mm-hmm. I think we and all when have that I common, but when I do I say something, anymore. it's to end. Yeah, you know, like it's like I don't necessarily blow up. And, you know, like now I'm pissed and I'm being mean to you or Mm -hmm. anything like my demeanor will never change. Mm -hmm. But it could be like because my demeanor never changed changes, someone will think like everything is smooth sailing. It's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. And then we could just be sitting at dinner one day and I'm like, I think we're done. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 they're, and they're kind of like you never even expressed yeah. something was wrong, but in my mind, I I felt like that was okay though. Yeah, in my mind, I felt like it was like no, I allowed you. If this is, I looked at it as this is me letting you be who you genuinely are at mm-hmm. the core, and so it's like, and so I'm deciding that that person just doesn't mesh with me. Like I didn't exactly. want to like Woo. change people, or I didn't want to like convince people to be nicer or to be better. Like I yeah. was like, no, like I wanted you to handle situations the way you handled them. Mm-hmm. I assessed, I mm-hmm. evaluated, <laughs> and I was just like, no, this doesn't like work for me. But also, when you're trying to, granted, none of those relationships really mattered anyways. But uh, exactly. if you're trying to Not sustain exactly. an adult relationship. <laughs> typically people are not always going to do things the way you would want them or like what makes you the most happy and you do have to express if it's a if if it's a deal breaker about something or it just makes you uncomfortable like you do have to express I actually don't like this Mm -hmm. and that's how you know because if after you express it and they don't change it that's how you can be like oh you're really just this person but if you change it it's like oh it could have just they just didn't know Right. Or, you know, didn't agree. think it was a bit, or didn't even notice they were doing it. Right. So. That is Yeah, a, sometimes people just really one. don't know what they're doing, and it don't work for everybody. Yeah. What was yours? Me? Um, sometimes I think I'm a little too nice. Tell me more. Um, it's more in relationship. Mm. I let things slide, but as of lately, that don't be sliding no more. I be telling niggas what's up. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they kind of have a hard time. They have a hard time. Um, <laughs> because I am nice. Like, oh, I didn't, wouldn't even think this kind of thing bothers you. That yeah, you but would. It does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it does, babe. So, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but it does. But it does. Um, so I'm just working on just being more a little d- direct. Still kind. I don't like when people mm-hmm. aren't kind. Yeah. That's annoying. Because I feel like I always attract assholes. Mm. And I be having to, like, get them in check. And then they, since they think I'm so nice, they can't even, like, believe what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It's like, get over yourself. Your ego sucks right now. Like, no one's ever told you this. But, so, mm. just working on my um, balance between, um, I can't be too nice, and I can't let things slide. So, mm-hmm. that's just where I'm at. <laughs> that's just where I'm at. Yeah. I was just writing um, the descriptions and titles for the next two episodes. Oh, good. Uh. While they were fresh in my brain. <clears throat> I did have another toxic trait, though, yeah, from um, a past version of me. I used to, I've talked about this, too. I used to be very toxic positive, And it's really because, and I actually talked about this with my therapist uh, not too long ago. And it helped me kind of see it in a different perspective. Like, 
I struggle with things not being okay. So my toxic positivity, it used to come off like, and I noticed like later, like, oh, you're kind of silencing people and not allowing people to have their experience. But for me, it was just like, I need things to be okay. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I cannot deal with things not being okay. So if you're telling me that you're having a bad day or something isn't going well, I'm like, it's fine. Like, look at it this way. Like, mm-hmm. just see it this way. Because I fine. can't it's deal fine. with, <laughs> I, I can't face that things are not okay. So yeah. I need us to not talk about those things. Mm-hmm. And that was shitty, you know? So okay, I, I do that a lot less now. Mm-hmm. But I do, I do avoid confrontation. I 100% avoid confrontation still. Um, but I have learned that confrontation does not always mean something negative and that Mm -hmm. the only confrontation that breaks relationships are with people that you're in a relationship with that you shouldn't be, Exactly. you know, because you're able to have conversation with people that you love and people that you like. And like, I kicked my mama out of my house one day, Mm -hmm. but that's my mama. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And she's still going to be my mama and she's still choosing to be my mother in like an active way, not just like. That's still my mama, but she's just out in the world some way. Like, yeah, we yeah. figured it out, right, mm-hmm. you know? Right, right, right. So it's like if people are meant to be in your life, the confrontation is not going to break your relationship as uncomfortable as it is. And I'm continuously having to learn that Absolutely. because I just be like, I can't take this feeling bad, so what do I have to do for it to not feel bad? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think, and this, is, and this is a current thing, I am still this person. I'm Ooh. a bare minimum kind of girl. Mm-hmm. And I think that when I go into situations, whether it be like now that I am back in school, when it comes to work, when it comes to anything, I walk into things trying to figure out a way that I can be successful doing the bare minimum. Mm-hmm. I am never the one in the group that's, trying to take on more or, you know, trying to go, like, above and beyond or trying to find, like, uh, like the coworker that's like, no, like, call, like, get Tatiana. Like, she'll help or get Tati. Like, she'll do this or, Mm -hmm. like, she knows what to do because she took the extra initiative to look into this or she has some other information that nobody else has. I am do, I am here to do the bare minimum, but still be successful. Like I want to do what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna be good at my job and I'm gonna be a good student. But I did the bare minimum to achieve that. And yeah. I think that sometimes that can you know I stand in my own way because by me attempting to do the bare minimum, I'm never looking beyond. You know I'm never looking necessarily like in the future, or I'm not thinking that maybe if you had. Somebody important could have been in the room, but because you didn't feel like getting up and because it wasn't mandatory that you get up, Mm -hmm. you didn't talk to that person. And the whole time, that person could have been the person that was going to, like, open up all these, like, doors for you. Mm -hmm. But I'll just let these moments pass because I didn't have to do it. You know, I have to feel like I have to do it for me to do it. Anything that I don't have to do, like, you're not going to catch me there. Yeah. I haven't thought about that. You do say you need a day. But I want Michael to go First, do oh. you have another one? I do. Um, I tend to be an oversharer sometimes. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Talk about that. I think I just kind of always say too do you much. Think that, wait, but do you think that's a toxic trait? Sometimes. In what way? I don't know. I feel like I don't have to say as much as I do. And I always like kind of think about, what did I say last night? I but like, what? That. But what happens as a result that makes you feel like you shouldn't have? Mm. Like this. Are that's you the thing. ever uncomfortable? That's the like, thing. It's ah, like they it's, this about I, me I feel like I have that experience Sometimes. too, like in my mind, where it's just like, why would I tell that person all of that stuff? But it's like, did that actually hinder anything or make anything bad happen, or is it just my brain Saying. being it might like, be that. ooh, why'd you say? Especially if you overshare and then it's like not reciprocate. Like sometimes it's just awkward and you don't notice how awkward it is until after the fact. And you're like, why would I do that? But it's mm. not that you did a bad thing or that it made a bad, a bad thing happen. Thing. I just feel like I just let too much. I've been trying to leave, be a little more private, but I'm like an open be mysterious. book when it comes to my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, or at least with people I'm dating too. Like yeah. I just feel like I, I give too much information out. I, I would know. like to affirm you in that and validate you there like, because I've I've allowed myself to stop like being cuz that's something that I've battled with my entire life. Mm-hmm. I tell 
everybody mm-hmm. everything yeah mm-hmm. and i it does i don't have to vet you i don't have to be like oh like what kind of friend is like i don't do that i don't do that like yeah, i no. just talk whatever's on my heart if it's something that's like in my mind and on my spirit in that moment whoever is there is gonna catch it right mm-hmm. and the only thing that i have discretion about is if it involves other people so like one of the things that like obviously y'all know the origins of this podcast like i used to talk a lot about my sex life i would go out of my way to make sure that people that i was having sex with consented to me talking about stuff mm-hmm. like that because mm-hmm. I'm simply gonna share it. You yeah, have yeah. to tell me, don't. Right. And I have mm. people. I've had. I've had people in my life who were like, I don't ever like. <laughs> I have had mm. someone in my life who was like, I literally never want you to ever talk about me to anybody. And I'd be like, that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I won't. And I never do. But like, other than that, I, I still would. I used to beat myself up like. Oh, you talk so much. Like, why do you talk so and that's much? What I do. I do but that. it's like, but what's the fucking like? What's what happened? I don't know. I I guess I over. I think I think I I'm the person that thinks like, what could happen? Like, someone can use this information against you, and I don't. Yeah, know. but it's like. But everybody who I'm feel like I um I overshare with, I truth, trust. I trust a lot. Yeah, and if it's the truth, if it's something that is like. Yeah, like that's the thing that you know what I'm saying. Like it was sucked. Yeah, to that's ha- true. you know it's it like yeah, that truth. did happen. And it's, and it's about yeah, and also it, you're not doing anything necessarily that could could be held against you in a sense because if you're right. like this open oh, book, I'm, I'm it's kind of like it, yeah, yeah, like you're always living in your truth. So My it's bitch, not well, like, I told you that. Already. It would be different if you <laughs> yeah, you're like I said that if yeah. you were robbing banks. And you kept telling people you, you were robbing banks. <laughs> I would have to police it aside, like, you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> like, somebody <laughs> eventually is going to let this out or slip that you're robbing banks. You're and that's something that can get you in trouble. Yeah. Or, like, you, like you're married and you have a whole mistress. Like, yeah. you can't tell everybody that right. you have a mistress because you're doing something now that is meant to be a secret. Like, right. but when you're living your life... You know, truthfully, every day, it's yeah. like you really don't have anything that's I, like. I've literally oh, learned to adjust that. myself to the fact that that's how I am. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, so now I premise that. That's how I got to the point where I, t- I started asking people for consent because I'm like, hey, I'm going to talk. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I'm right. going to do. That's why I decide. That's why I was drawn to starting a podcast, mm-hmm. because I like to talk about myself and my experiences. Yeah. And with that comes things that some people might deem a secret. Some people mm-hmm. with, who went through the same experience as me might be like, I would have never told nobody that. Right. But I'm just like, well, I do. And people need to hear that stuff. Like, it's important. Like, the same way we were talking about earlier about, like, representation and stuff, like, I think that it's important for people to mm. know a thing is a thing because yeah. it's so polarizing and uncomfortable when you're going through something and you think that literally no, like you're the odd. only person that's like going nobody's through going it. through the thing that you're going through. So I go out of my way to tell y'all the weird stuff, the fucking like crazy things, the you know the uncomfortable stuff because. Um, a, because I can't help myself, but also when I think back on it, when my brain does say like, oh, why would I tell somebody that? I'm like, somebody needs that. Yeah. Like somebody needed to hear like that they're not the only person who had that experience. I guess the best thing about it is I don't tell people's business. Exactly. And yeah. that's yeah. the only thing that matters. <laughs> like I'm, t- that's why, I, that's exactly it. That's a hundred percent it. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. damn, I forgot the other thing that I was going to say. You said, what, what were you talking about? that my oh that you weren't like um going above and beyond and stuff Um, i have the belief that everything happens exactly how it's supposed to be and that we are divinely designed for what our path is right Mm -hmm. so there are certain people where it's like in order for in order for i don't know in order for Jay-Z to succeed, he needed to develop a certain charisma. He needed to be able to, like, stand out and talk mm-hmm. to people in certain – like, in order for him to be – to um, reach the fruition of what his potential was supposed to actualize to, right? Mm-hmm. Not everybody is that way. Not everybody has to do those things to reach. Like, oh. I don't – I was just saying that to say, like, I don't want you to feel like, ah, I probably would have been a lot further if I would have, mm-hmm. like, spoke up in that room or if I would have did that. I don't think so. I think mm-hmm. that everybody has in them naturally, not this thing that like, oh, I had to teach myself to, because even when people talk about that sort of stuff, when people are like, oh, I had to learn how to, you had something in you that told you you had to do that. Mm-hmm. Whereas the people like us, that's like, nothing in me tells me like I need to learn how to be like more charismatic or like more yeah. like mm-hmm. upfront or more um, extroverted. Like nothing mm-hmm. in me tells me that I have to learn to do that. And my mm-hmm. life is tailored for that, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, which I love. I love that. 
I life understand. is so unserious. <laughs> like, <laughs> not I feel like, like laugh. No, yeah. for real. Like, and I feel un- like I'd be unserious. Unserious is like the best word that I've gained from the internet. Because yeah, I'm like, so. it fits everything. Life is so fucking unserious. It's like, who fucking cares? Yeah. You know? And yeah. I is that know. a toxic trait? Um, do I have another chapter? Is that one being like no. serious? No, I don't no. think so. Okay, I think, great. No, because I, I all I of this, I like any. all of the years that I spent like um learning about the law of attraction and um like all of these spiritual things that I've learned, a lot of it is like don't take anything too fucking seriously because people who take life seriously get serious shit handed to them, mm-hmm. and it's like no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play. <laughs> You yeah, know? not no. like I'm gonna I'm gonna play. gonna play as much as I possibly can, and you're gonna slay, and I'm gonna. Um, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> do I have another toxic trait? I have one that's like not like super serious. I love, but that. it may end up it could be like toxic to my like specific relationship. I oh. don't want to drive nowhere. Oh, period. Like I don't like driving. Passenger I don't want princess. to drive. And now, mind you, like my guy drives for a living, so he's yeah. driving all day long. And so it would be really nice if he had a partner that's like, babe, you've or been, not. You've been driving for twelve hours. I got it. Like I will drive tonight. No. No. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm like, so did you want to wait 30 more minutes? Yeah, like, right. <laughs> yeah. like you can have a rest. We both don't want to do this. But however, <laughs> it took enough. Like it took enough for me to just drive to a destination and drive back. Like yeah. I'm not dri- like, uh-uh. no, I hate it. I, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate driving. And it's I'm not. And it's a thing that I'm not like willing to be fair about. Oh. You yeah. know how it's kind of like that. Well, yeah. like, let's be fair. Like. I'll drive sometimes, then you'll drive no. sometimes. I'll drive sometimes. I'm flat bad. out. If I can get out of it, I'm not driving. I do not. I don't. And I don't even think I'm like the greatest driver, anyways. Like, no. I still don't know how I to parallel park when I drive. Like mm. people be mad because like, I drive slow. And that's it. Like I am a. I'm a I'm safe a driver rush. to be in the car with right. because I'm not that person that's not a good driver, but it's just. Acting Wrecked. a fool. Yeah, not you know, it's like, I'm just like, my mama drive like I'm aware that driving is not my strong suit. So it's like, so I careful. take my time. I pay attention. Yep. Like, I'm, I'm watching the road. Like, I'm not doing silly shit. So yeah. I'm a safe person to be in the car with. But I'm just like, no, this is not my forte. I'm also terrible with directions. I think oh. that's on the same side of the brain as math. Mm-hmm. And Go I don't, ahead. I don't get it. That's At good all. awareness. Yeah, like it's crazy because I've gotten very into cars lately. Like oh, wow. I, I have like a, I've developed now like a list of like a handful of cars that like, I'm like I want that car. Like I'm gonna mm-hmm. have that car. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because it's like you don't like driving. You don't want to <laughs> you drive. Don't like driving. I just want to have that particular car, but I don't want to. It's not like I'm like ooh, and I'm gonna like. Be the one that drives everywhere. It's like, no. It's like, hell no. It's yeah, like, I hell just fucking no. I want to be cute to work and back. I think I'm a really good driver yeah, and good with directions. I get that from my father. You're great. You're but great. I don't a- like it. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, probably fatigue, though. I feel too, like you've been you driving so our much. whole lives. Yeah, yeah you've always been the lives. driver. Yeah. Yes, he's always been the designated driver. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. That's like, I literally trait. would trust, if I had to pick, like, of my friends, like best drivers, I would literally trust you and Drea P, yeah. like with my life in a car. <laughs> you just, you said. just said you're not a good driver, <laughs> but I'm a, I'm not I'm also, not not good. I mean, no, I'm, I drive really I'm, slow and but I'm referencing <laughs> people <laughs> that I feel like are good drivers that they would say I'm a good driver. I'm not driving slow and safe. I mean, you, I'm driving you've safe. never felt unsafe no, when I was driving. No, I didn't say I did. I said that <laughs> if I had to pick two. But why do you only friends? have to pick two? Like, why couldn't I be a third? <laughs> You're not in the list. But why? <laughs> I also don't, like, girl, let you it go. You don't think I'm a good driver? Y'all are, how long how, how often fine. have y'all been in cars together, though? A like, bunch. With, with, you, with you driving? Yes, a bunch. But oh. I have been like, on, oh. like, but I'm talking about, like, also, I have experiences of us I getting drove into us to Milwaukee. Accidents, car accidents. Yeah, we got in a car And, accidents, like, yeah. and him being in control of, like, of that and, like, getting us out of ditches. Like, so how does that put him of, before me? And we've never gotten an accident. Well, it wasn't it my wasn't fault. It wasn't his fault. It was weather. Yeah, but we. That was really we bad weather. We but didn't him, stay in that ditch. We got the, out that yeah, ditch. Yeah, <laughs> it was the like, it was the calm head. It was like how <laughs> he just knew it was very like, it's handled. <laughs> 
Brianna. It's fine. I just feel like I drove you. I have so I many other friends that I didn't Illinois name as before. well, though. I drove so you all the way to Charleston. Like, I drove us all the way to fucking Milwaukee. Like, yes. I feel like I've driven us so on, like, long I trust you. tracks. But, the, but, like, not enough to be named in that. That's, like, <laughs> crazy to me. Not enough. That's crazy. No, it's okay. There's always the tip of the spear. You can't get mad because you you fall somewhere on the diagonal. Okay. You can't get upset about that. Oh, it's fine. It's, like totes, about it's totes fine. It's, it's no enough. big deal. I have so many friends, and I would get in the car with all of you. I trust you all not to, like, kill us. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. Some people I do. Trust to kill. No. <laughs> They're going to be like, we're going to get that regardless. I'm like, wait, bitch. Not I do That's trust to kill. <laughs> That's my mama. Uh, I can't do it. My mama be driving like she, like. <laughs> like this like is the she, end day. Yeah, like our she, last like, fuck, she be driving like she just decided it's fucking. These like, are our last days. She just be driving like not she these decided are our last like days. it's whatever. <laughs> like whatever happens just happens. And I'm just like, can we not let whatever happen happen? <laughs> right. Like, can you just get me to my house? <laughs> can you please get me like, to my house? Like literally, she be, she be so offended when I'm in the suburbs and I. Don't. Hit her up like from the train. She'd be like, Well, why wouldn't you tell me to take you home? Because, girl, I want to get there. I want to get home. I'm sick of this. Now, you know it's deep when you would rather get on the train than get a ride. I home. would rather <laughs> get on the train sometimes because, no, for real. And I've gotten a lot better because I used to be so anxious. And it's mm-hmm. crazy because I grew up, my, I lived with my mom my whole life. So it's like I've been in the car with her a billion times. But all of a sudden, as an adult, <laughs> I could not fucking take it. Like, right. I would, I'm on the verge of a panic attack every time I'm in a car with her. <laughs> It was terrible. Or I would have to get real, like, drunk. Yeah, to not even think about it. So I can just be in her car just, like, mm-hmm. just just vibing. But I do not just, fuck. No, literally. Just swaying side like, to side. It's a video. Just bouncing. There's, like, a, there's a video on Instagram <laughs> on, on my stories, like, I don't remember, like, a couple years ago. And I'm in the backseat of my mama's car, literally holding the phone like this. And you could just see my body doing like this. <laughs> and in the background, you just hear my mama singing along to the radio. <laughs> she just <laughs> I've been crazy. That's she's driving best. crazy as That's fuck, the best. but singing just like all oh my life, like she's just singing. <laughs> it's like you're, you like, and I'm in the back, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, and I d- I took a video on purpose because I'm like she's driving crazy. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, it's very funny. scary, and she's just singing like Jill Scott, just singing. So I found out too that I get motion sickness. Like if somebody's oh, I driving used to. I used to. too crazy, because I didn't know that. Like, because I had never experienced yeah, it before. It's perfectly fine. Got in the car with some with somebody one day that was driving crazy because he had one of those cars, you know, that's like yeah. super fast, oh my God. and was doing the absolute most to the point where I could start feeling myself like feeling nauseous, like <gasps> my head is spinning. Up. I was yeah. like, "Cause what happened? Like, this isn't fun." It's like I had fun. to really express to him, like I had to be like, "I'm not impressed." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there you go. There <laughs> like, you go. I need you to be normal. It's not going to get you any like, closer. Like, I need you to impressed. be normal. It's not going to get you any closer to what you think. I need you to be normal. <laughs> like, just drive like a normal person. I've seen you drive your your other cars like a normal human being. Just mm-hmm. because other we're in car, this car so. doesn't yeah. mean. Ooh. Not like he had multiples at the same. No. I was like, Bali. No, he didn't <laughs> have multiples at the same time. Oh, okay. No. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm talking about. Previous cars. I'm like, which athlete That he is drove this? regular. Well, child. Well, child. That's great. Well, you think that covers our toxic about well, traits? Child. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, well, I kind of want to know y'all's toxic to- toxic traits. <laughs> she can't say toxic. <laughs> That's her toxic trait. <laughs> I kind of want to know y'all's toxic traits. So if you want to comment below. Um, if you're on YouTube, comment down there. And if you're listening to us on any of the listening platforms, you can say it in one of your reviews. You can give us a five-star review and then be <laughs> like, by the way, my toxic trait is that I snort cocaine every Friday night and I just can't stop, you know? Um, <laughs> relatable content. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> um, but, yeah, we would love to hear from you. Please continue to follow us where we can be followed. I did not do this on the last episode. No, you can follow okay. us at Away With Worse of Did you not? I no, didn't. she didn't do it. Hmm. On Instagram, you can follow me there at Bree.Stories and at Bree underscore stories on X, I guess. 
Weird. When That's that so changed, stupid. when that change first popped up, I didn't know what it was on my phone. Like it's I remember with. swiping, and I was like, "What's this?" I, was like, I don't you. remember downloading this app. <laughs> Mind you, I delete it's my called, apps. It's threads now. I delete my apps, so yeah. I had to re-download, and I was searching Twitter, and it didn't come up. I panicked. Wait, so I the was, whole thing is called X. It's called X. Yeah, it's I thought Twitter. they were just changing the symbol the from logo? the bird to the X. They changed the name. It is not called Twitter. That's so ugly. I literally re-downloaded Twitter. Like, tr- I typed in Twitter, and I was like, <gasps> when I didn't see it, I yeah. panicked. So I'll teach you to delete me. You. But you could follow at A Tati on Instagram and at Hey Tati on whatever the fuck that is. And mm-hmm. please make sure that you're following at MJM Kid and at Mamas underscore Stu because you just got it. That's where all the cool stuff is. And while you're at it, follow at Please Be Easy because please be easy. We love y'all so much. And we're going to talk to you next week. I'm sure we will, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, sending you so much love, and we'll talk to you then. Everybody say bye. Bye. bye.